In the title, I put Nearly Free, because it depends what bits and pieces you can beg, borrow or steal. For this, I started with a sound system, which had been in the shed for about the last five years. Removing the bass speaker, I carefully cut away the centre of the cone to expose the moving coil beneath. The intention is to use this as the driver. You need something to transfer the vibration. A piece of dowel, a bit of tube, or I used a plastic rod with a flange on one end. In particular, it had a handy hole at the other end in which I could screw the attachments. After cleaning up my cutting, I glued the flange onto the top of the driver. Great care has to be taken so that none of the glue runs down the centre and glues the moving coil to the magnet. I confess that happened the first time for me and there was a lot of swearing. Under my breath, of course. Having checked that it worked, I decided that it really needed a box. All made with some odd bits of MDF. I think it's rather unlikely that I'm going to get the Nobel Prize for woodwork. To drive the whole thing, I used a function generator coupled with an amplifier, the same old amplifier from the TV sound system. However, any amplifier would do, it shouldn't get damaged. Tone and function generators are widely available online and on apps, and most of them are free. A generator can be used to demonstrate resonance in strings, so it will show the fundamental, first harmonic, second harmonic and so on. Turning it on its side, you can demonstrate vibration and resonance with longitudinal waves. The only piece of thin sheet material I could find was a piece of acrylic, which was from a greenhouse window. Something like the bottom of a biscuit tin might have been better. With the help of some dried rice, or there are plenty of alternatives, we can demonstrate resonant point on a flat sheet. With more rice and a changed frequency, we get a changed pattern. I hope some of these ideas might be useful to you. Thanks for watching.